Hello everyone. You caught me when I'm just watering my pixie frog enclosure. It's always good to water your frogs. Let's take my mister. You know pixie frogs, they like the soil to be nice and damp. But then, some of you may notice, where is my pixie frog? Don't see him anywhere. Could he be in the water? No, he's not. In fact, today I'm going to go over something that's probably kind of rare for people to see. You already know what it is because of the, the title, so we can, you know, forgive the horrible acting in the front. But a hibernating pixie frog. I have not seen many videos on YouTube about this. I have seen a couple that have shown the frog sleeping but not really go into what's going on um, and didn't really get into much. Now, you normally only will get a hibernating pixie frog if your enclosure meets a few categories. And this is why I say normally because this can happen if you don't meet these requirements. But if you do meet these requirements, it's a higher chance that it will happen. And this is really good for your frog. Because keep in mind, in the wild, sometimes they'll burrow underground and stay and hibernate for up to two years. Two years they can go. So this is really good for them. So typically requirement number one, a water source. That way they can go in there and you may notice that your pixie frog, before it starts to hibernate, spending a lot of time in its water. It is just peeing out all of its bad water and it is filling itself up, filling itself up with water uh, for two reasons. And we'll get into those when we go in. And the other one is to have enough dirt in your enclosure that the pixie frog is able to bury himself in. So if you only had him like in an inch of dirt and it's a giant frog, he's not going to be able to get himself fully under, not going to feel safe to go to sleep knowing that he's exposed. Now, pixie frogs have been known to hibernate without a water source and without a lot, but that's very rare. So the water source was important. It needs A, enough water to survive while it's asleep, but B, it makes this kind of mucus capsule that it goes in and I'm gonna hopefully be able to show that to you guys today because my pixie frog chose to dig his hibernation hole under here and underneath the rock ledge I should be able to just pick up this rock ledge and we can take a look and we can see a pixie frog in his kind of snot shell which that I have not seen on YouTube so why don't we just get started and let's just go for it. This could be a, a big bust, you know, maybe we won't see him. Let me just get the camera a little bit better situated for the area of where I think he'll be, but who knows? Could just be completely wrong. He could be so deep that we won't see him. Okay, get it locked right there. That's good for right now. I'm gonna take this one rock that is not part of that and just set it in there and so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up we just push down all the dirt that was kind of by it so it's not loose and we'll just set it up to the side okay And I gotta be real careful because I don't want to disturb him while he's sleeping. Yes, there he is. Okay. Alright, don't worry guys, we're gonna get some good some good footage here. So there he is. So, let me angle this up. So if you look, you should be able to see that he definitely has almost like a bag. Almost looks like a clear bag. You can see it there in the reflection. Let me get a good 
line up on this camera. And it's kind of hard to get because he's so far down, i got to zoom in. Um, but that's what he does. He puts himself in the snot bag. If we look the front, his eyes, everything, it's all closed. And that's just where he'll sleep. Um, he doesn't come out. He's not dead. He's alive. We're able to get this view because he was covered from the rock bucket where he felt like he was good and burrowed and that's where he's going to sleep and that's he's that's where he's going to hibernate so i just wanted to give you guys a rare glimpse of him in there now it's not the end all be all if your pixie frog cannot hibernate or doesn't hibernate but this is something that's really healthy for your frog and if you're looking to get a pixie frog that's going to hit 20 25 30 35 years of age then you it's beneficial if it has the ability, if it feels safe enough, to hibernate. And all you have to do, once it starts hibernation, you keep the heating the same, you keep your water pool there, and you just continue to moisten the soil to keep the humidity level up because we don't want that snot shell to become crusty and hard for him to breathe or hard for him to move. And you want to water, not directly on him, but the area that he is in. So I like to water the back glass because I know that he's down there. And I know water is going to drip down there and keep him nice and humid. And that's it. Anyways, guys, there's a rare look at a pixie frog that's in hibernation, that's in his little snot bubble that we get to see. Now... As a treat, hopefully I can get when he's about to wake up to show you how um, he sheds this, this snot bubble because it's really cool and it's, it's huge. When it, when it fully comes off of him and you see how thick it is, it's something that I don't think a lot of people get to see. All right, guys. Take care.